Okay, so welcome to Foxtech and in this video I'm going to show you exactly where you can find files on your iPad. So no matter if you're downloading them from the internet or have them ready for use, I'm going to guide you through managing your files efficiently on your device. To begin with, the iPad has a built-in files app which serves as a file browser. This app allows you to locate and manage all of your files whether they are PDFs, images, or even any other formats. You can find the Files app easily by looking for the blue folder icon on white background, but if you can't locate it, head to the app library by swiping all the way there and search it using the search bar or just browse through the icons. In the rare case that it was deleted, you can always reinstall it back from the App Store. If you've downloaded files through Safari, the first place to check is the, the download section of Safari itself. Open a Safari and browse any website. Look for the AA icon at the bottom of the screen in the search bar and click on it. And you should see the downloads section. If there is a blue dot, it indicates a new file that has been downloaded, but clicking on it will still show you all of the downloaded files. You can then do whatever you want with them, right? So you can move these files to your preferred locations on your iPad. If it's a photo, they can be saved to the Photos app. PDFs can be saved with the Files app, or you can directly just share them from this section anyway. This Files app is, of course, your main hub for the management. And inside of the Files app, you can browse through different locations on your iPad. And one of these locations is the one called on my iPad section, which is essentially the hard drive of your iPad. Here you can organize your files into folders and subfolders for easy access. In addition to the internal storage, the Files app allows you to integrate various cloud services. So you can add Google Drive or Dropbox directly to the Files app, which is going to enable you access to your cloud stored files directly from your iPad. But Obviously, you need internet connection for it. And moreover, the Files app supports external accessories, right? So you can connect any USB or SSD card to your iPad using the USB-C port. And this is going to appear as another location within the Files app. And this makes it incredibly convenient to transfer files between the devices. You can use drag and drop and move it like this. So this is how it is. This is where you can find files on the iPad. For more in-depth videos, check out some of the other ones dedicated to the Files app. And hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you in at the future. <laughs>